So, so in this video we're going to add washers to this nut and bolt system. Um, well, nut and bolt, nut, nut, bolt connection thing. If you don't know how to make these, check the video and the check the links in the description. There'll be loads of videos in there eventually. Um, but the first link will be the link to how to make this. Um, but to add the nut and bolt is what we're going to do here. So, first thing we need to do, I'm going to set this to realistic mode. I've basically double clicked the bolt to edit it. Edit it. <laughs> um, first I'm going to say file, new, family, and say metric generic face based. And it's just going to be a circular washer. So this is this is really simple. Extrusion circle there, there. Well, I'm gonna drag it off a bit. Select it. Say mark center point. Whoops. Hit it off a line. You don't need to drag it off for a bit. Bit. I just like doing it. Um, just to give me that visual. So align and lock. Align and lock. And then have another one. Same thing there. Check this. A alpha align align lock align lock right so I'll say di for dimension Oops. I'm gonna unmark that and unmark that now because we don't need them anymore so di for dimension diameter there and there Oop. change the skill here to like one to five so I want to call this one D I want to call this one D O well the outer yep and say ok come to front elevation select the reference plane say CS for create similar put it there DI for dimension here to here boom create that say washer thick the thickness. Sorry, just protein shake everywhere there. <laughs> so my elbow is irritating me. Uh, what's uh, oh. Keep it a tight parameter. Yes, we will. No, we won't. We won't. We need all of these to be instance parameters so that we can edit them within another family so okay boom now al for align that to that boom um, we also need to tell this it's a structural connection we're gonna keep it uh, it's gonna be steel uh, I'll, we're not gonna need this but I like putting it in there anyway, keep it shared, and the extrusion itself is going to be, let's see, other, we'll put it as other because no, it has no washer um, thing, and now I'll give it a material, new, and uh, no, we'll keep it type parameter. And say create new material. I'll call it steel washer. We're just gonna search for steel. Mm. 
just anything. That one. Upload it there. This takes its properties. Give this a steel thing. Sorry, metal. Graphics, user and appearance, appearance, thermal. Great. Okay, so now D will call it 45 and outer D will call it. I don't know. 65. Washer thickness, we'll call it 15 millimeters. Okay, yeah, uh, the washer is normally quite a lot thicker than that, so let's say 120. Yeah, there you go. Cool. So, I'm going to set this to realistic to take a look at it. Yeah, it's made of, well, oh, I didn't set the material. I made the material, but didn't set it. I always remember to do that. Stu what? It actually didn't, oh, sorry, I must have done it wrong. Um, I'm going to do exactly what I did. Well, I must have, I'm going to pause it here and do that. Okay, so I've called this that. Um, I don't remember, sorry, I'm really tired. Uh, right now, it's quite late here. Um, I don't know what I forgot to do, but I've done what I did earlier in the video, but that was all correct, changing all this stuff and setting it to steel washer. I say okay, we'll apply, and okay. There you go, now it's got that material. And there you go, now it's changed. So I'll close down all windows I don't need. Load into project. Bolt. only I'm just gonna place it there for now now I need to go to front elevation and say AL for align that to that lock come to floor plans AL for align that to that and lock and you can see that the washer is locked inside. It's it's stuck. Sorry, they're both on the same work plane, so that one goes there and that one over. So now, if I select this extrusion, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say front. What I could do is I could edit work plane, pick a plane, okay, and pick that plane remove constraints because it was already constrained now that will basically that bolt is on this washer but that's not the right way to do it so I'm not going to do it that way well it is a way of doing it but I don't like doing it that way so what do we do? Right, I need to create another reference plane. So cl click this, say CS for create similar. There, DI for dimension. I'll come here and I'll press tab to make sure I get the level or the reference plane. Select this, say washer. Now I select that, and the washer thickness becomes the washer thickness in this project. So now they're in the same spot. This will get thicker and the reference plane will move with it because they both have that dimension. Do you, do you, I hope you see what, what's going on here. This thickness is the same as that. That's why they're moving. They're not linked to each other. It's just that they have the same dimension. It's a very important thing that you need to see, you need to know how to do. Now I'll select this extrusion, which is our bolt head. Edit work plane, pick a plane, okay, and I'll pick that one, yeah? Done. However, H, I need to delete that. 
and into dimension h from here to here instead. Yeah? Oh, good. Good, that worked. <laughs> um, also, with the washer, let's finish setting up the washer. So the washer comes here. You select the washer and you say D needs to become D here. There you go. Now it's perfect. And we need to set up D outer. Yeah, cool. That goes down there. So, okay. That's just to edit it if we need to. Okay, now the bolt head itself and the void. Press tab to get the void, the bolt. I'm going to bring that down, remove constraints. Bring that one down, remove constraints. A alpha align that to that. That's the bolt. Um, let me show you what that is. I don't want to confuse you. These two lines are. Let's highlight them and select HI. Oh, flip sake. I'm just going to hide this. It's the length of the bolt, yeah? A alpha align. That to that. Yes. That to that. Yes. And there we go. That is how you get a washer in there. Now, if I change the washer thickness, so it won't be that thick. Well, it might be actually, but let's say I need to change it. Apply. Done. Now I need one on this side, so, nice and easy, well, kind of, I'm going to say, I haven't given it a name by the way, but whatever, I'm going to put it on any face that's in the same plane that I want to place it on, I'm going to select it say edit work plane pick a plane okay this one yeah now floor plans a elf align that to that lock that to that lock but now I need to remember to give this the dimensions required as well because it's an instance parameter so D outer goes to washer D outer. Oh. Undo. D outer becomes washer D outer. What do you mean? Ah, oh, crap. Un Sorry, I need to flip this also to make sure it's going downwards. D becomes D. Washer thick becomes washer thick. D outer becomes washer D outer. Washer D outer. Oh, I see. So this needs this needs a thickness. I mean, a number, because it's at zero, it's ruining everything. And I didn't set the other one to D outer. So that one needs it, D outer. And that one needs it. You could probably even do them together now that I think about it. Select and move. Anyway, let's come to front. Same thing here with this, yeah? We don't need to worry about the end because that's still fine. It still goes to the end. But. CS for create similar. DI. Select this, say washer thick, brings it into the same place. Select this, say edit work plane, pick a plane, OK, boom, done. Now I can load into project and close. You know what, I'm going to cancel that. I'm going to save, save this. 
as a washer. Load into project and close. Um, because it's good to have these named properly. I'm gonna change them to nut, oh no, not nut, to washer. Same thing, but now it's got a name, so I can remove this one, delete. And the thicknesses, I can remove them, I mean reduce them to say 10. Yeah, good. Just checking. Now I will HR to do that and then load into project. Grillage. Write the existing version. There you go. I'm not going to save right now. HR to. Oh. Now HI to isolate. You can see I can extend this out. Oh, this was a different one I made earlier. Not not. So let's say thirty. That brings it nice and snug. This is a different bolt to the one I made in the previous video, but it's the same concept of how to place them down. The one I made earlier in the other video is this one, so it's slightly different, but the same. <laughs> different but the same. Uh, this one's better, but the point is this is how you make a washer and add it in everything we did is the same as the family we used before But now I'm just showing you how to toy with it um, Showing you that it works. So let's say I Want an M42 There you go, and I can also incorporate the can change the parameters to suit so if I need a smaller washer for an M42 I could add a preset I can also add new presets here duplicating naming it M43 or what M, M sorry M50 and then putting in the numbers for M50s uh, yeah so please like share subscribe you'll be help, helping me out a lot and that means I can help you that's what matters right now.